Let's take a look at the most common objections to pricing. Objection 1. We need a certain amount from the sale to buy our next home. Will you as a buyer pay what the seller wants because that's the price they need? No, you'll pay what it's worth, right? That's what your buyers will do too. Objection 2. Can't we price a little higher and come down later? Option A. Here's what frightens me about pricing higher. People who have seen many houses will find yours and think it's right, but they won't look at it because of the price. We don't want to drive buyers away. We want to attract buyers. We want them to make offers. Does that make sense? Option B. The greatest number of showings come in the first three weeks. If they see the house is overpriced, they walk away and we don't get them back. Let's get one of those people or more people to make an offer right away. If more than one likes your price, they might even compete and drive it higher. Would that be great? Objection 3. How can we be sure the price you're recommending is the right price? Have you ever bought a stock? How do you know what it's worth? When you're selling a stock, you check the market prices. You know you paid more for it, but the market doesn't care. Real estate's a commodity today. The market says what your home is worth. Why would a buyer reach into their own pocket and pay more than the market says it's worth? Objection 4. We were hoping to get more for our home. Do you understand the law of supply and demand? When supply is up and demand is down, which way do prices go? What supply do we have now? Right, that's why prices have gone down. It's a law, not an idea. Do you defy the law of gravity? We can't defy this law either. Let's price it right and get it sold now.